Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Old World Blues and Hearts of Fire 4 as the Brotherhood let us continue on from we last left off. So, um, the Desert Rangers, the Steel Rangers now, which is a great name, are now in our faction. Which is great, our manpower is a little bit low, but that's not a huge concern. We're going to see what this expedition is and see if it's actually uh, worthwhile and if it was worthwhile actually going down this free whatsoever. After that, I don't know, like, I want to attack the NCR. Supply max in it. R max and that's a 10% reduction on infantry equipment, which would be really good. Simple circuitry has been researched, which is another what 2% research uh, bonus. Reinforcement rate can go up. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. Primitive radio. So what else can we do? R max in blueprint recovery. Like I just don't know how we would ourselves begin the war. If it's an event, or if it's a, uh, something else. I really don't know. So, the, so yeah, the NCR did manage to land up here. I don't know how they did it. I, like, I don't know how many, they do have a port, so they're probably sending a decent amount of troops up here. We'll see if the NCR, they might just annex that territory, which would be odd. Uh, when the bombs fell, many places were ready to, to attempt to repel them. Um... Destruction speed. No, that's for a year. That's actually really bad. So we can either go for fuel and scrap, or we can go for technology and the green circuit board thing. Well, what do we need more of? Like, what are we using? Extract and import. We need. We're using six water. We're using six scrap. We are importing fuel right now. And we're using a lot of scrap. But we also were going to need to maybe import technology soon as well. But we have a ton of this. So we, we need fuel and scrap. But we do not need electronics in advance. We only need one of the two. So let's go with you. That means I shouldn't need to actually import anything anymore. So I mean that was okay. I mean it wasn't great. Old bonds. Surface tensions, wasteland conscription. Like, that's just, it's just a massive, massive, um. You know, we actually, we should get that. 12% recruit population is really good. Like, that's almost, what, scraping the barrel levels, I believe. No, scraping the barrel is 55%. It's more like limited conscription, but that's significantly better than 3%, so... Are these numbers are these numbers changed? It feels like these are a lot different than they are in uh the base game. Like how much manpower does the NCR actually have right now? They have a ton. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of manpower. The she, I'm assuming, basically have like none, because they're, you know, basically like one tiny country. A royal basically also has zero. Are they considered um advanced now? I'm really not too sure. Yeah, Troll Warren is also getting, like, quite large. They're getting pretty, pretty big. Yes, we have our metal armor. Um, 400 days to research is quite a bit. Special forces, just ignore that. I mean... What does this do? It unlocks a new unit type. Okay. Dynamite. Are you guys available? Yes, we can make our, um... Support company a little bit better. We can now get our field medic. I, th I think that's what I do want. But division speed, reconnaissance, equip. You know what? Let's get you actually instead. I mean, they all seem like they're pretty good. Yeah, the Akusa. 8 to 10 divisions, 7 to 10 divisions over there. The NCR for trying to fortify the capital. Well, they didn't, actually, they didn't actually attack the Rapids, so I don't know what this did. I mean, they got an... Did they not get the Annexation CV? Can they just, like, not, um... Open the Long 15 right now? Maybe because they're at war, they're not able to do it. That's my best guess, at least. They didn't really actually say, though. Um... Christian plus 20%. 
can send volunteer troops. Again, I don't know how that really helps us at all. Guerrilla Tactics has now been finished and researched. So, what was... There's another thing I was wanting to research, but I, now I don't even remember what it was. Population, resource gain plus 10%. Okay, let's increase our cap. So, we are making five trucks a week. I mean, that's still, like, not great. But it's just, like, almost two years for us to get enough APCs for all of our troops that we're trying to train up right now. I mean, these guys also, yeah, they'll all deploy into here. So there's really nowhere else they can deploy anyway, so... They'll all deploy there. The NTR... I wonder if they sent their entire army up north. They might have, honestly. Like, knowing the AI, they might have sent, like, their entire army to the north. I really wish I could attack these guys a lot faster than uh, 180 days. Okay. Like, that's almost a full year, which is quite a bit. Okay, let's combine these fleets. Uh, I guess we'll add an admiral. I guess you're a strike force? I really don't know what to do with you. Well, again, there's no fuel in this mod, so... Okay, so we have two infantry divisions and some motorized divisions. The motorized I want down to the south. The infantry division I'm going to send... Uh... I don't know where I'm going to send them, actually. Maybe there's more to the south. I mean, this is going to be the most important front, I believe, at least. Because I feel like this little pocket will be closed up immediately. Um, yeah, there's no way for them to actually get to us. And then we can probably push over here, like, quite, quite quickly. Oh, NCR. You know, when the war breaks out, you are completely screwed over. Like, I really don't see a way you can win this. Scrap fighters, naval, sailing ships. I mean, we can upgrade our navy, I guess. I don't even know if we built like a single barge yet, but we can do it. Oh yeah, we have a handful of barges. So I mean, I guess that's good. Uh, let's get some resource gain uh, bonuses. We can now industrials concerns tank designers, but that's for robots, I think. Well, say it says that's for armor, but I don't know what's considered armor in this uh, the mod. So. Basically, just ignore that forever. Military theorist. Research bleep is 10% on industrial stuff. So, yeah, you're engineering, you're industrial. Well, what do I, what would I want to do? We can have a theorist. Medium aircraft, heavy aircraft. Well, are which kind of fighter are you? Are you are you heavy? Are you light? I don't know what you are. You're a fighter, but again, it doesn't tell me what kind of fighter it is, so it might not fall under any of those categories. So, like, it doesn't help us out at all whatsoever. Outside of recruitment has now finished. Let's get wasteland prescription up to 12%. Oh, these ones have like nice pictures, which is kind of disappointing. So right now our maximum is eight, a uh, 9.5%. It's not bad. Like that seems pretty good. We have uh, oh one of our APC divisions actually done. Uh, we'll put that again. We'll put it actually up here. Seems like an okay spot for it to be. Uh, you are probably like, no, you actually not had time, so let's get you. The better radio. Yeah, we have like a ton of, we have a ton of equipment. We have three more power armor divisions. Uh, again, I think I want you just all down here. We have more uh, more factories, which is good. So let us build more vehicles like this, and we'll build some more aircraft. 
I mean, we probably want to have a big stop, pal, because, you know, once the war breaks out, you know, it's going to be an issue. <laughs> Obviously. So many trucks to be now, so... Well, now, less than a year, so we, we've increased our tank production pretty well, I would say. So we are almost ready for you. Barge 2 is now completed. So let us try Paddle Steamer, I guess. It looks like that's the next level. I mean, they're considered seed ships, which I don't even really know what that means. I guess we'll increase our naval invasion as well. Just on the off chance that we need to do it. And let's upgrade you guys to Barge 2. You don't actually have a nice picture, which is uh, disappointing, but whatever. Create a variant of Convoy. Apparently we can't. That's sad. Yeah, so let's combine these guys together. How many ships can you actually maintain? You can support 15 boats. Which is exactly how many boats we actually have right now. And do we have another port? I don't know. That might actually be our only port at all. No, we have one port here who can just hold three ships. We have one over here that can hold six ships. You can actually hold 24 ships, which is actually quite a bit. So, I mean, we have a handful of uh, naval dockyards. Like, not a million, but, you know, a, a decent amount. So, there we go. Our recruit population now is at a pretty good 15.5%. And again, I, th I think that's almost like the maximum we can possibly do. I think there's like a handful over here, which is like a plus 2%. But that's not like an insane change. Okay, actually, this will go with six uh, military factories and three civilian. Which is pretty good, I would say. Two air bases, radar stations. Tesla weaponry. But we can't do this until we have advanced communications. But I, like, I don't want to help the NCR. Because that's bad. I want to attack the NCR. But I can't draw the sword. So I think the NCR actually has to be the one to clear war on us. And I don't know if they're ever going to do that. I mean, they're still at war with this guy up here. You know what? Screw it. Let's just uh, fabricate the war goal now. 185 days sounds fine to me. You know, it is what it is. We'll see what the NCR wants to do. If it wants to, like... Because it's, it's still at war. So I don't know what the AI plans on doing. 180 days... I mean, that's only three focuses. So what will I see? What will, will that get us? So we'll have six more infrastructure, three more military factories, and we'll have uh, 12 more infrastructure and three ar uh, military factories by the time we're ready to attack them. We'll see what they do. Again, our front line with the NCR is actually pretty large. You declare war on the damn busters. Which should be pretty easy for the, NC or for the Siege of Legion to win. But how's that the NCR? What's the NCR going to do? You can already see that they're immediately putting troops on our border. They're putting some troops on the border with the Desert Rangers. Apparently it's super dusty over there. Can I turn off Fog of War? There we go. So yeah, the NCR is already putting troops on the border. But not that many on ours at least. We only have, I see three troops down here. This middle area is still completely undefended. This area is also still completely undefended. And once war breaks out... Uh, is there anything we can do here? No, most of these things are still... Ah, uh, you're not that bad. More defense and breakthrough. But as soon as we declare war, I believe we can go down this tree. I believe so, because I think has reignited. All that means is, things, is that we're at war with the NCR. When we're at war, there might be an event pop-up, which declares us the war reignited or something like that. Like, we'll see... Again, most, again, they're not really, uh... They're putting more troops on our allies' borders than on ours, which is ridiculous. I hope our allies are actually ready to attack, because... We're probably going to need them. Let's put all these guys onto this front line. The NCR is trying to get more and more troops over here. So yeah, I think they actually are going to beat the Broken Coast. The Black Flight Fleet. The Frozen Isles. Well, we'll see what they do. 
We actually need more electronics. We'll get that from the... Uh, let's get it from the Washington Brotherhood. Because uh, we probably will not be able to get it from you as soon as the war actually begins. Roll out technology. We can roll out technology scavengers again. It locks motorized scouting divisions. Okay. I mean, sure, why not? We'll see what that does. Again, it probably just makes it even faster, or it makes them less likely to fail. Even with these troops we're putting on our borders, I'm pretty sure we completely outgun them. Like, they're, they're putting their troops on the border. Uh, again, they probably do have more troops than we do. But, like, not by much, I would imagine. So maybe it is time that we just start kind of pushing past the, um... Ahead of time. But it's like 1.2 years. Like, that's a lot of extra time being spent there. Overwhelming firepower. Trenchments be Like, a lot of these things have, like, a lot of drawbacks as well, which kind of sucks. Uh, what can we do? More, bo more monthly population. Foundry, I don't think we've even built any of those. Let's get more encryption. I mean, that could be useful. Let us get... Warrior equipment. You know what? Screw it. 400 days. I really don't see that many more things I actually want to research, so... Can I, I, we do just outnumber the Brotherhood of Steel. I'm, or and outnumber the NCR. In terms of our total factional strength. Like, is there anything else I would actually want? More so than the factory. So we can go this one. And I can give my ally technology. Maybe we do want them on our faction. Or I want this so we don't have to import the uh, add bonus technology. Either of those could be useful. Okay, well let's let's go for recreate military industry. I'm assuming we're probably, what, 60 days in now? Yeah, 61 days in. We done on the 3rd of February, 2079, which is still, like, quite a while away. Oh, NCR. I mean, you're still at war. I mean, you're at war with somebody who's going to lose their war. I don't think the Broken Coast is going to be able to push back. But the Dam Busters also are doing pretty okay against Caesar's Legion. You know, Cedar Legion has like an absolutely massive, massive army. Okay, is so anybody? Oh, uh, you're actually feeling kind of ant about it, so we'll send some more troops up there, I guess. And now we can actually train like a lot more infantry troops. Because we have a ton of manpower now. Again, not as much as the NCR has, but. Still quite a bit. And we have so much infantry equipment. We have so much support equipment. We have so much power armors. Like, we are fine in terms of everything. Yeah, let's get even more decryption. 28 days is pretty fast. Modify our government. Theorist. Refined warfare doctrine plus 10%. Sure, I don't know what that means. I'm assuming 10% cheaper. Which sounds good to me. Yeah, so this guy will basically cross over here into these islands, try to take them all over. Take over, you know, to harbor. And then, uh... Yeah, I mean, most of, like, Sadie Shanes is right here. Like, it's right next to, um... Our ally. Which is pretty, pretty good. So hopefully they can, like, push their way, like, right away. Like, can I see what their military plans are? Uh, very, very modest. Literally pushing two provinces in. Good work. They are my allies. Militia recruitment posters. Council of Mines. Fund the intellectuals. Okay. And we have even more technologies. Uh, more encryptions. Sure. You're two years ahead of time. Uh, more defense. Reinforcement rate. Also, it's like it's only 1%. Like, that's not amazing. You can't research any of those things. Armor, salvage truck. 
I'm assuming that's just an upgrade on our armored cars. So, I mean, that, that should be good. Get eight more technology. Try to go down this tree as fast as possible to get to Elijah joining our faction. But that's literally going to take over a year. Which is a bit. Or making our weapons cheaper. I think 10% cost and weapon reduction does seem good. Or giving our allies better weapons. Send them a unit of paladins. That actually sounds good as well. Because they're going to be like on the front line. But I do think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching my anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, thumbs down. Do you want to see more? Subscribe. And goodbye.